Hello everyone. Welcome to Infra Experts. Today's topic is restoring your RDS instance with a current backup with a current snapshot and this will be done using Terraform. So how will we proceed with this and what are the configuration files we will be using in this. Here we will be having the same generic variables which we used in our previous cases in creation of RDS or even in upgradation of your RDS. Similarly, we won't be having any changes to the versions.tf. We will only be having changes, rather it will be new configuration file for our main.tf. So without wasting much time, let us proceed with our practical setup. So here we are in our Visual Studio. In here, as you can see, YouTube create RDS. This was the last we prepared. And now we are having YouTube create RDS from snapshot. So from here, we'll be just copying these two and just paste it in here since we won't be having any changes in these. Now in here, let me create one more file. Now, first and foremost thing, what we will be doing in here is, let us first check these, the generic vari variables, where the AWS region and multi-AZ, whether it is true or not is present. Let me just delete this one. I do not this need this one for our current scenario. In versions of TF, these are the same which we need. So let us proceed with our main.tf. So the first thing what we need to do is, we need to take a backup of our RDS instance. So we have this RDS instance present in here. Let me just take a backup of it first. Since we need to restore it from this backup to a new database instance. So this is getting done right now. Okay. So why we are doing this, you may have a requirement of creating a database using the latest snapshot. So to proceed further with this, we need to first get the argument, the resource name, which is AWS DB snapshot. Okay. And you, you can see in here that it is like this. So let us proceed with our Visual Studio. So the first thing, let me just comment it out in here, get latest snapshot from production db okay and in here what should be the data it should be aws underscore db underscore snapshot okay and this one as db snapshot okay this one you can give the db snapshot whatever you want next comes we need the most recent backup right as i said so most recent equals to true then i need to let terraform know from where i need to take the backup so how will you do it for whose backup i need to take if you go in here from the db identifier that is possible so db instance identifier okay equals to what is the name of my instance identifier infra db fine so i'm done with this block now i need to create a new staging db after i get the latest snapshot okay Fine. And in here, I will give the resource name as resource block and let me give the name as infra db underscore uat. So this will be my name. Then the instance class I need to mention in here. Okay. If you go in here, this is the instance class. Let me just copy it, which I need to mention in here. And then what else? I need to give the identifier name in here. Okay. Then the username. 
let this be as infra and the password as infra hash one two three okay now also i need to give the snapshot identifier so that it understands from where it needs to restore right so the snapshot identifier that's the be snapshot identifier and from where will it take it it will be taking it from data dot this one right and then dot id okay next is the security group where i will be placing this this will be let me just check from here i will be keeping this in the same security group okay so this is the security group and just paste it in here okay so this is the security group i will be taking also i will mention in this i do not need the backup if i delete it multi az i do not need the multi az for this okay and if you do not mention the parameter group in here then what will happen it will take the default parameter group but i need if you are having your parameter group to be fine tuned so in that case you need to define the parameter group in where you need to put your database so if in for that instance i will take in this parameter group okay and i will just mention it in here and just save it so this is it what we need to do in here now i need to go to command prompt and go to the working directory okay and then run terraform in it let us see whether everything is fine or not so it is loading in the back end and i believe everything is fine for our setup right now so this will take some time for it to load so it is done right now let me just validate everything in here and by now i can see that the backup is also complete you can see the snapshot creation time okay so in here you can see that i am having there's some issues with this so this one vpc security groups it is actually a mistake it should be underscore ids okay this is the one so let me just go ahead and run it again and let me see whether everything is fine or not so this time it is running fine now let me run terraform plan which will just generate the execution plan in here so the execution plan is also generated and you can see in here that it is creating the resource name as infra db underscore uat auto minor version upgrade is on delete automatic backup is true identifier name is given in here so this is the name the instance class is given in here the parameter group it will be taken this which we mentioned if we do not mention this it will be taking the default parameter group likewise snapshot identifier it is taken final snapshot while deleting the instance it's it will be deleted and user name is infra and also the vpc security group it is taken this and it will in the plan you can see just one to add so let me just proceed with the applying so right now what it will do it will first search for the for any backups present or not if by mistake this instance identifier you are given some other name then your instance won't be created means it will be failing stating that your instance is not available means your uh, this instance identifier is not available okay so right now it search for it it got it and it is it started creating my instance and this will take much time nearly 15 to 20 minutes or more to get this one created you can see it from our databases also from here also you can see 
right now two instances are there so this is the one from which whose snapshot it took and it is right now created this instance which you can see at the status of this one as creating so i will pause the video until my instance is created okay so as you can see in here our database has been created so let's log into our aws console and you can see that this database is running right now and if you go in here you can let's go to configuration you can see the database name as this infra in the username as infra multi az no you can see the parameter group this is the one which is taking make sure you wait you have patience while your terraform script is running because at first while your database is getting created at that time it will be taking the default parameter group and afterwards after the creation of the database it will just modify it the status will be in modifying uh, during which this parameter group will be changed okay so you need to take care of that the storage is 10 gb as per our previous database so and in here you can see the security group it took the default one which we mentioned over there so we are now fine with this database the db instance identifier is this so let us now proceed with destruction of this database resource so this concludes our today's session in which we saw how to proceed with restoring your instance using terraform from a latest snapshot so thanks a lot for watching the video please do comment like share and subscribe take care